I hear a lot of people talking about that traveling is boring, moving from A to B, it takes long time, you're bored, you just want to reach the goal. But what about if you think a little bit different and make traveling something more? What if you think out of the box and make traveling to and happening? then traveling could be something different. So this edit is about how to take your traveling to the next level. How can the traveling be more than just going from A to B? First of all, the fact that you are traveling, okay, you know, next week, next month, next year, I'm traveling to Africa. I'm traveling, I, I reached my goal for the day, 8,000 steps. Or you're traveling on a mountain trip, four hour drive, you have a flight, everything. That's the fact. You're going on a trip, you're moving from A to B. I will use my traveling to Norway next week as an example because next week I'm going from Indonesia to Norway on vacation. That's the fact. The idea or a dream. Start dreaming. Okay, for me, next week, Indonesia, Norway. What can I be doing from A to B? What can I be doing from Indonesia to Norway? Then you start dreaming. You start thinking, okay, I need to fly there to there, or I need to travel my car from there to there. Is there anything I can do on the way? Anything at all? Let your mind just disappear and just like dream. And now dream big, dream big. Like what is the opportunities? What is the idea that I can come up with when I'm traveling from A to B? Which take us to the next step, research. After every dream and idea you have of opportunities from A to B, you start doing the research. Start Google it, start asking friends, start like check every options, opportunities. For me in this case, Indonesia, Norway, there's a lot of flight routes. And in the research part, you also have to consider every like limitations. Do you have something you have to take care of? In my research for the next week traveling home to Norway, I knew that I needed to fly Qatar Airways when I'm going from Norway to Indonesia again, because my wife has a plane ticket with Qatar Airways with two kids. So I need to be on that plane when I'm going back. So there, okay, I should probably take Qatar Airways when I'm going from Indonesia to Norway. And that limits a lot of the opportunities for which route I would choose. When you have done all the research, it's time to go to the next step. Make a plan. You've done all the research, you know basically all the options you have. And I think it's good to have a plan. Sometimes it's also good to don't have a plan. But then you have a plan to not have a plan. So make a plan for your traveling from A to B. And the last one, Go for it. If you made a plan, you have like big ideas, big dreams. This trip from A to B can be something big, something fun. I've never been to that place. Now I can visit it. Now I got the time. Go for the plan. Go for the ideas. Go for everything that you like wanted this to be. It's easy to have dreams and ideas and done the research and everything. But when it comes down to it and you're going to do it, you're just like, oh, it's better to just go fast home, tired, I don't want to do this. I will get up a new paper and I will show you my roots, my ideas, my dreams, my plans for next week. Indonesia, Norway. That's the fact. I'm traveling to Norway next week. The ideas and dreams for this Pulan Kampung, as they say in Indonesia, like going home, started eight months ago for me. Don't say this to my wife, but the moment my wife got pregnant, I started dreaming about this because we knew at that time that my wife needed to leave Indonesia before me. So then I knew I would be traveling Indonesia, Norway by myself. So it started eight months ago. I've been doing some research, I've been checking out the opportunities. As I mentioned earlier, after a lot of research and stuff, I will be flying Qatar. I started research Qatar's websites for flight routes, Indonesia, Norway, and all of that opportunities. I will be leaving Medan, Indonesia around 4 o'clock on the afternoon. 5.30 in the afternoon, I will be reaching Kuala Lumpur. And then I have a transit time in Kuala Lumpur of 15 hours. <laughs> 
That's right, I have a 15 hour transit time in Kuala Lumpur. So I'm checking out of the airport, have booked a hotel for that night. And then we'll see what happens with this 15 hour. I was recently in Kuala Lumpur, which is a nice city, and I will bring my carb aboard this time. So I'll probably like be carving around in KL by night. Really looking forward to that. After 15 hour transit in Kuala Lumpur, my flight will leave from Kuala Lumpur the next day. 9.30 in the morning so I would have like a perfect night at hotel, sleep well check in into my flight Qatar Airways in Kuala Lumpur 9.30 in the morning flying to Doha I managed to make my route so I will have 13 hour transit in Doha I never been to Doha before so this started 8 months ago okay this might be an opportunity to visit like my two like dreams and goals has been Doha or Dubai so that is like I've been focusing okay I want to fly Qatar or Emirates because I want to visit Doha or Dubai I've never been to neither of those places this is an opportunity to visit one of those places so because of that I booked this route so I can have 13 hours to check out Doha and what makes this even greater since I have a perfect night in Kuala Lumpur first I'm like all rest and on this flight, which is almost 9 hours, I can be sitting down, get the food, watch movies, all the time because it's daytime. I will be landing then in Doha, 1 o'clock, 13 hours in Doha. That means that around 2 at night, I will be flying from Doha to Oslo. I will be landing at Oslo Gardemon Airport, 7 in the morning. So like the idea and the dream, is that I will have a good night's sleep in Kuala Lumpur a perfect day in on the plane and in Doha then sleep on this plane and be ready to be like home in Norway have the whole day in front of me, meet people and do as much as I can the day I come home that's like the plan and I think it's going to work <laughs> so because of it idea, a dream that started eight months ago, I've been doing some planning, I've been doing some research and this is what it ended up with. So instead of like flying home in 20 hours, which I could, I will use around 48 hours or something, but I will explore places I've never been before and I have like time to just enjoy the fact that I'm traveling, moving from A to B. I'm doing the moving part from A to B, something more than just traveling. And I will encourage you to do the same, think out of the box. It's a lot of talking in this edit for me, but I, this is something I like. I'm really excited about this, and I think this can make a difference in your traveling. If you like, think more than just traveling. You can see new places if you use the time and plan it. So good luck, see you on the next one.